Nonpoint is an American rock band from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. The band currently consists of vocalist Elias Soriano, drummer Rob Rivera, guitarists Rashid Thomas and B.C. Kochmit, and bassist Adam Alosin. History equals Early years equals, Nonpoint was formed in January 1997 emerging from the popular burgeoning South Florida metal scene of the mid to late 1990s by drummer Rob Rivera, vocalist Elias Soriano. The name Nonpoint came from a Believer song of the same name. Soriano recalls, I dug the name so I started using it around that time. It has no real meaning to us. It is something to do with pollution, but to us it just sounded cool. The band self-released their first album, Separate Yourself in late 1998. The band's first commercially released album Struggle was released on May 18, 1999 on the now-defunct Jugular Records. Equals statement equals, the band released their debut major label album Statement on October 10, 2000 via MCA Records. To promote the album, as well as the band on a nationwide scale, Nonpoint toured with such artists as Head P.E., Mudvin, Fuel, Taproot, Drowning Pool, with their main tour appearing on the United States leg of the 2001 Uzzis tour. A year after its release, the album entered the Billboard 200 charts, where it peaked at number 166. The first single from the album, What a Day, peaked at number 24 on the mainstream rock charts. Equals development equals, Nonpoint second album development was released on June 25, 2002. The album entered the Billboard charts at number 52, with the first single released from the album, Your Signs, peaking at number 36 on the mainstream rock charts. Nonpoint completed a successful second appearance at Ozist, during the Donington Park leg of the European tour. Other tours included Seven Dust on the first Loco Bazooka tour, Dates with Filter, Sunset Black, and Papa Roach. A second single Circles was featured in NASCAR Thunder 2003, as well as the soundtrack for Hot Wheels Excel Razors. Equals Recoil Equals, two years after the release of Development, Nonpoint released their third major album Recoil on August 3, 2004 via their new label Lava Records. The album entered the Billboard charts at number 115. The album's first single, The Truth, peaked at number 22 on the mainstream rock charts. Another single Rabia was later released. Tours included Seven Dust, Skindred, Dry Kill Logic, Candiria. Equals to the pain, alive and kicking equals, after departing from Lava Records, Nonpoint signed with independent label Beeler Brothers. Records. The label's co-owner, Jason Beeler, produced the band's previous three albums. Nonpoint re-emerged with their fourth major album to the pain on November 8, 2005. The album entered the Billboard charts at number 147, with approximately 9,000 copies sold during its first week of release. The single, Bullet with a Name, peaked at number 22 on the mainstream rock charts and was featured on the game WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2007, and 2007 film The Condemned. The album's second single, Alive and Kicking, peaked at number 25. The song was also featured on the game WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2007, In the Air Tonight, which previously featured on their Recoil album, was the theme song for the Miami Vice movie. It made a belated appearance on the mainstream rock charts, peaking at number 34. Beginning in late 2005, Nonpoint toured extensively with Seven Dust for three months, later concluding the tour in New Hampshire. Nonpoint toured on the third annual Music as a Weapon tour with Disturbed, Stone Sour and Fly Leaf. The band also did tours with Seven Dust, Buckcherry. Nonpoint released a CD-DVD set, Live and Kicking, on November 7, 2006. The live album was recorded at the band's April 29, 2006 show in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. The album sold 3,475 copies during its first week of release. As of September 18, 2008, To The Pain has sold over 130,000 copies in the United States. Equals Vengeance, Cut the Cord equals, on November 6, 2007, Nonpoint released their fifth major album, Vengeance, under Beeler Brothers. Records. 
the album sold 8,400 copies in the first week. Vengeance peaked at 129th on the Billboard charts the first single, March of War was released early on the band's MySpace page, as well as a sample of the lead track Wake Up World and for the second year in a row once of their songs was featured in the franchise of WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 the song was a remix of Everybody Down from the album. They went on the first ever Great American Rampage tour. Nonpoint headlined the What Does Not Kill You tour with 12 Stones and A New Revolution. The band announced that in February 2009 they would embark on a tour with Mudvin and in this moment. On January 20, 2009 drummer Rob Rivera announced that the band had parted ways with Beeler Brothers and were seeking a new label and management. Nonpoint later signed on with Split Media LLC. Nonpoint recorded demos in Phoenix in May 2009. Nonpoint released a new acoustic EP digitally through their own label, 954 Records, on December 8. Dubbed, Cut the Chord, the outing features acoustic renditions of What a Day, Circles, Rabia, Victim, and Your Signs. Nonpoint streamed a cover of Pantra's Five Minutes Alone on their MySpace. The track is a bonus track for the Metal Hammer magazine tribute to Dimebag Daryl Abbott which was made available on December 16. Equals non-point equals, during late February early March the band performed at Soundwave in Australia. This marked the first time the band had played there in their career. They also released a free download of their cover of Michael Jackson's Billie Jean. The band released a greatest hits album titled Icon. The compilation spanned the band's earlier major label work and included a number of rarities, including an acoustic version of their song, What a Day, plus the rare songs Across the Line, and Pickle. The set surfaced through UMG on April 5. The band stated that they had been writing new music and that they planned to start recording a new album at the end of the year through Razor and Tie. They released a free advanced mix of a song off the album titled I Said It. Another track, Left For You was later released. It was confirmed through Nonpoint's Facebook page that they would be recording for a DVD when they play their show in their hometown on May 8. Nonpoint completed the recording process for their self-titled studio album with producer Johnny K. The band released the song I Said It, and made plans to tour with Call Me No One. The band later announced that the album would be released on September 18, 2012. It was pushed to October 9, 2012. Nonpoint released a music video for Left For You on October 1, 2012. Equals the return equals, in early January 2014, Nonpoint announced on Facebook that they were working on a new album, update. We are writing a new album. Really blown away with what we have done so far. If you liked the last album then you will dig this new stuff. From what I can hear we are digging deeper into our influences. Really exciting. Nonpoint have signed with Metal Blade Records for areas outside of North America. They remain signed to Razor and Tie for North American releases. The band's new album titled The Return is due out September 30, 2014. Also Nonpoint will release a song Breaking Skin as the album's lead single on August 12, 2014. BC Kochmit has taken over Nonpoint's lead guitar duties following the removal of Dave Lizio. Equals ninth studio album equals while playing a show at Amos South Bend in Charlotte, North Carolina on the Crack the Sky tour with 10 years the band revealed they had begun work on their ninth studio album and that it looked like a February 1, 2016 was the date the band enters the studio to record. It was announced on October 15, 2015 that the band had signed with Spine Farm Records. Musical style and influences, Nonpoint have been described as groove metal, hard rock, heavy metal, rap metal, new metal, and alternative metal. Originally playing an aggressive style, Nonpoint moved to more melodic sound with their 2002 album development. Nonpoint's influences include Korn and Rage Against the Machine. Band members, 